guys, it's Malan B or Malan from Facebook or MalanB.ac.com and this is my haul video from the Nintendo World Store. If you guys did not know, I recently visited New York for about five, I would say five complete days. I went with my husband uh, and was fortunate enough to stay at a location that was very close, really close, next to Times Square. We were half a block away. And we were about two to three blocks away from the Nintendo place, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> um, I've been to New York before, I've been to the Nintendo store before, but I never really stayed for that long of a period of time. It's such a great location. So I made a point to go there daily. Um, I think I missed one of the days just because uh, I was so tired of doing other stuff, but I did go there. Um, as much as a kid, at least once a day, um, and not really to shop there every day, although that would have been nice, but it was mainly to get, well, those of you who are not really familiar with their DS systems or their handheld systems, they have this feature where uh, if you have it on and you pass somebody else who has it on, um, it also works uh, via Wi-Fi, so if there's a hotspot, which that Nintendo store is, uh, you're able to trade information with others, which is my main reason for going. Um, uh, although, obviously, I purchased some stuff there, which I will show you guys. There's a couple, only two other items um, I will also be showing you at the end that I didn't purchase from the actual Nintendo place, but I'll show it to you anyway because it's relating. And also, uh, I was going to say, unfortunately, I didn't take any actual video of the store itself or outside of the store or anything, but I did have some pictures, or I do have some pictures. I will be adding into the video as well at the end, and I will take a few more pictures of the actual items. Um, if you guys want to see them a little up close or more closely than, than I'm showing you now. <laughs> okay, uh, they did give me a couple of, of bags. I went to shop there twice to actually buy something, um, and I just, the bags are the same, so I'll just show it to you guys. They're pretty large. Uh, they both have Donkey Kong on it. It just says Nintendo Plays. Both sides are the same. Nintendo World. And if I make noise digging into it, I'm sorry guys. I didn't get all that much stuff, but a couple of them, or at least one of them, is kind of big. So that's why I needed that huge bag. This is my favorite. I got a plushie. And this is Boo. That's what the ghost is called. Uh, obviously, it's a character from one of the, or many of the Mario games. This is what it looks like. And it's pretty big. Uh, last time I went to the store, which was, I don't know now, probably like two, three years ago. I don't remember exactly, um, exactly when was the last time I went. But the last time I went, I got a huge character like this, which you have probably, if you've been watching me a while, you have seen it. It is a Goomba that is actually sitting on top of this yarn cabinet back there. Maybe I'll take a picture of this one and the Goomba together. So since the last time I went there, I got the Goomba, I thought I, I would get another. This time I chose the Boo. Pretty cute. Put him down here. Let's see what the next item is. Then I got a couple of shirts. Well, let me show you this one first. Uh, the first day when we got there, um, it was really raining. Uh, the weather wasn't the greatest, although fortunately it was only raining the first day we got there. It didn't rain anymore after that. Or it did, but it was really just sprinkling. And I don't know how or why, but I completely forgot to take uh, any jackets with me. So I had nothing that had a hood on, um, a, hood, a hood on it, and I usually find that easier to deal with uh, than actually take umbrellas. So I was looking for something that I could um, use if I had to. And of course, if it had something there, I had to get something from there. <laughs> so I got this, and since it didn't rain anymore after the first day, I didn't actually, actually have to use it. But this is a Zelda-related um, sweater like thing. I don't know what you actually call it. It has a hood on it. It's a sweater. It has some pockets. And it's pretty simple. It's just a gray one and just has the Triforce 
uh, in the front, as you can see. It is uh, Legend of Zelda related. Uh, let me show you the tag. Well, the tag's pretty simple. I mean, do you even got? Do you, do you guys even want to see the tags? Should be pretty warm. I can have not worn it yet because I didn't have to, but that's pretty much one of my favorites. And of course, you guys know that Zelda, the Legend of Zelda series, is one of my favorite series in general. So uh, if they have that, then I I probably will get it. I do have a couple of other shirts. I also purchased this one. This one is also pretty simple. It just says Nintendo World, New York. It's a tag. And I did purchase one more that actually a friend purchased for me. Um, it was a store's uh, 10th anniversary, I guess 10 years that they have been open. Uh, it was last month sometime and they had these uh, limited edition shirts uh, for their anniversary. Obviously, I don't live in New York, so um, they didn't offer it online or anything. So one of my friends purchased it for me uh, when he went to pick his up, which was pretty nice. And this one came with um, uh, a coin, I guess, like a remembrance kind of thing. That looks like this. It just says 10th anniversary. And that's the back. That's what the store looks like. And this is the shirt. And this is the back. I think I only have a couple of other items to show you guys. Okay, three more items and they're pretty small. Now this item is one of my favorites. Right now I'm actually using a Yoshi one that I got. Um, I purchased that one from Walmart actually. And it was, I don't know, like a year maybe. I would say at least at least a year, maybe between one or two years ago from Walmart. But this one I am going to be using next after my Yoshi one dies. Um, this is a Zelda one. And this one is one from Skyward Sword. Looks like this. And this one actually is pretty cool. It has a lot of compartments in it. And it has a little um, thing you can put on your, on your wrist. So each different thing is a compartment. That's what I thought was so cool about it. So you can unbind all of them and it's a different pocket inside. So I think that would be pretty awesome to use. Obviously being Zelda. I had to get it. <laughs> and I have a couple of small things. Um, I have a Mario pin that looks like this. Obviously, most people are familiar with Mario. And one keychain that has Bullet Bill on it that looks like that. Love it. So let me just put this stuff back in here. I'll put it in back later. Now the two items that I got that were not from there, I'll show it, I'll show you guys. This one I did get from New York. Uh, this one I actually got from that Toys R Us store. Uh, they have a huge Toys R Us location right on Times Square, uh, which we went in to visit, obviously. And this is the, actually the last one or the only one I found they had there. This was maybe like, I think it was definitely under 15. So it was, doesn't have a price here, but it was like 10 or 12, something like that. So it, was, oh, and it, was, it makes noise. So I had to get it. You hit it and it makes a noise. It's just a question block um, in the games, um, the Mario games. If you hit one of these, an item pops up or a coin, depending on um, how lucky you are. <laughs> So I had to get one. So that was from the Toys R Us. And one other item that actually I got recently and this one actually is on sale this week. Um, I got it either Monday, Sunday or Monday, but it is on sale from uh, Best Buy. 
I think GameStop also has these. Um, it is just a simple case for your um, your handheld. Uh, it, it is uh, Legend of Zelda, obviously, <laughs> related, so I had to get it. Uh, this is from Majora's Mask, and it's a simple case, it, like it shows here. Pretty simple. Back is like that. But I plan on getting another um, DS soon, so usually what I do with my old systems or old handhelds, I just keep them. Um, I don't really throw them out or anything, so especially with handhelds, um, like with all my old ones, uh, if I don't already have a case for it, I usually get a case for that and I put them away in my collection. So whenever I get a new one, I probably will do that, or will use this one for the one I'm using now. So uh, that is all guys, again stay tuned for some pictures uh, of the items and of the store. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.